probably would have just been easier to actually unplug my computer than try to jump over the wire and risk dropping all the shit. But Eminem's back on a feature. Fat Joe's back, I guess? I don't know, roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adeano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're subscribed, if you're not subscribed, become part of the family at the end of the video. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. Whew, ran out of breath. But like I said at the beginning, we got Fat Joe featuring Mary J. Blige and Eminem. What is this, 2003? But everybody been saying it's hot fire. And obviously I need to check it out since the channel started with Eminem. It's only right that we keep breaking down Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Twitter's already clued me in about what it's about on the Eminem feature. Supposedly he's going back at Nick Cannon. And just so you know, it's not like going back at Nick Cannon from like 10 years ago. Nick Cannon had actually been taking some shots at him recently in the media. So this is Eminem's response. And we already know Eminem's gonna kill it. And it's not even me being a stan saying Eminem's gonna kill it. He's going after Nick Cannon. At this point, Nick Cannon's just doing it for like keeping his name in the public, you know what I'm saying? Because there's no way that boy could even compete ever. But there's not really much to say. The bars gotta speak for themselves, you know what I'm saying? I believe Eminem's gonna come with it because he's obviously Eminem. But Fat Joe? I haven't heard anything from Fat Joe in a fat minute, pun intended. But we just have to see what the boys got, see if he's popping off the way he was popping off in the early 2000s. But there's only one way to find out. Before we get started, follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at The Third Earnest, just like the name of the channel. But let's get it. We got a lyric video on deck just because there's no music video. So why am I just gonna stare at the album artwork? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We cop new time pieces when these fools deny Jesus. Hate is a sin, dog. Be real. I got my hand on the pump. You on Twitter in your fields, throwing subs, arguing with chicks. I pray. Bro, that whole first part, the whole first four bars didn't rhyme at all. <laughs> When I saw Dre, I thought it was gonna be Dr. Dre that jumped on the beat. I was like, oh shit, detox coming soon? Yeah, fucking right. I got my hand on the pump, the shotgun. You on Twitter in your feels? Ben said before, Drake already had the best line of all time around that. Trigger fingers turn to Twitter fingers. Throwing subs, arguing with chicks. I pray for these niggas, same hands that I hustle with. Passing the offering place, I'm the preaching for whips. Sermons and politics, miracles come with each and every flip. That the Nero from zero, so heaven sent. I didn't like the first part, the first four bars, but after the beat dropped and then he brought the flow with it. Y'all ever hear a beat and be like, how is Eminem gonna rap to this? Because like, it's not an Eminem type beat. This is like a Maybach music type beat. This is a Kanye West. He said, I pray for these with the same hands I hustle with. I kind of like that. I kinda, that's kind of clean. Sermons and politics, miracles come with each and every flip. That's kind of a bar because it has like a lot of meaning. Like sermons and politics, Miracles come with each and every flip, each and every flip of a politician, each and every flip, every time you flip a key, but also like every time that you flip the page in the Bible, new miracles come out those pages. I kinda like that multi-meaning right there. Nero from zero, so heaven sent. Immaculate blessings from Mary, I reminisce. On days we was broke, all we had was some common sense. Mm. Last night I had a nightmare, I was at the stove. I woke up in Paris, cooking up for hoes. That's Ooh. why I thank the Ooh. I don't know if I heard it right. I don't know if the lyric video is right. He said, I had a nightmare that I was cooking at the stove, that I was back in the ghetto. I was back in the projects trying to flip this key, trying to get that bread by hustling on the block. But I woke up in Paris cooking up for hoes. Now it could be hoes like cooking up for these chicks that he done flown to Paris. But it also, I think it's more so cooking up for hove. Hove is in Jay-Z, he's cooking up the verses in the lap. If that's not what he meant, pretend like that's what he meant because I made it cleaner, if anything. And he said reminiscing on the days that we were broke and all we had was common sense. That's like a bar too, cause he's saying like we didn't have no money, but we had street wisdom, we had common sense, but also we didn't have no money. All we were listening to were the rhymes of common sense. Common the rapper. Woke up in Paris, cooking up for hoes. That's why I thank the Lord for giving me this life. And even when I'm gone, the music keeping us alive. Yeah, it's called forever, ever, 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 ever family ties. Ooh. That's dope. Forever, ever, 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 ever family ties. Paying homage to outcasts. Whew. And I like when he says, even when we gone, the music keeping us alive. Because the music lives forever, fam. It's like K-Dot said, whenever someone gets taken out, we respect the shooter, but the one in front of the gun lives forever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so grateful. All I need is 
six globals who the dunk it from the projects eight balls from poppy when the dunk it in the pyrex mischievous mm. thoughts foreseeing the sauce to montana in the jeep chicky pulling the porsche mm. the Franks are not bro I did not expect Fat Joe to come with a flow like this. This is an actual spit, it's a flow. There's rhythm to it, it's not just like a club bop. From the first four bars, I'm really like what I'm seeing from this verse, because I, I had set the expectations like super low, because it's Fat Joe. He's not a lyricist, but maybe he's re-emerging himself as a lyricist. I think the lyric video is off right here. I think he says eight balls from Poppy, because it's like a lot of Cubans that sell cocaine back in the day, not stereotyping Cubans. It just is what it is, the numbers don't lie. So I think he's saying he's getting eight balls from Poppy and flipping it in the Pyrex. Nothing new, nothing really inventive right there. Everybody's been talking about going from the projects to G6 airplanes. So it's not even the bars necessarily that's catching me right now, it's more so the flow that I was not expecting from Fat Joe. Chicky pulling the Porsche, uh. The Frank Sinatra, the Spanish monsters. We the Jimmy's Cafe, ain't no need for operas. Mm. At the fiend, scream hallelujah, fuck the prosecutor. Gave my nigga 50 years and he was not the shooter. When they see us, I'll take a fine Dig deep in your mind, no pressure, no diamonds. So we live a life, drop the hundred at the ferry. My chick from San Fran, but stay out my Bay Area. Ooh. You salute. Ooh, he said my chick ain't from San Fran, but stay out my Bay Area. They call San Francisco, I was gonna say San Francisco and Oracle Arena. Basically, they call San Francisco and Oakland the Bay Area, B-A-Y. But stay out my Bay Area, because my chick's from San Francisco, B-A-E. That one was clean. That's a bar that's worth saying that's a bar. And then he said, dig deep in your minds, no pressure, no diamonds. That's a bar. Like, dig deep in your mind, but he says it to where it sounds like he's saying, dig deep in your mind, like M-I-N-E. You mine for diamonds, no pressure. No pressure on you to be the best version you could be. It wouldn't have been a bar the pressure diamonds, that's been said before, but what made it a bar is dig deep in your mind. That's fire. And that's a sad ass line, the one right before, when he said, gave my homie 50 years and he was not the shooter. For San Fran, but stay out my Bay Area. You salute the cross, or you rebuke the cross. Either way, you meet the Lord when you get moved across. Ooh. Death knocking at your door, got your squeezing handle. And you ain't seen God till you staring Can down I a barrel. Good? Okay, Fat Joe, you came with it. You came with it much harder than I thought you were going to come with it. This verse from Fat Joe right here reminds me of when I heard Rick Ross in My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy by Kanye on Devil in a New Dress. Rick Ross came with it in a way that he had never come with it before. That's the vibe that I'm getting right here from Fat Joe. And it's dope when he says, you either salute the cross or rebuke the cross. Either way, you'll meet the Lord when you get moved across. The cross cross. And you ain't seeing God until you're staring down a barrel. Like another way of saying you're about to meet your maker. Fire. All I need is the I'm sitting here reminiscing, think I just got a light bulb, something I'd like to mention, this is just on a side note, word to the terror squad Joe, this is all puns aside though, I know me and Mariah didn't end on a high note, but that other dude's whip. He said I know me and Mariah didn't end on a high note, because Mariah is known for hitting them high notes like way above the natural octave range, but their relationship ended in a really rocky way, <sighs> and he said word to terror squad, but all puns aside though. Like Big Pun, who was a member and one of the founding members of Terror Squad, but also putting puns aside like similes and metaphors and bars. But he's spitting bars talking about putting puns aside. This dude, man. Didn't end on a high note, yeah. but that other dude's whip, that pussy got him neutered. Tried to tell him this chick's a nut job before he got his jewels clipped. Almost got mm. my caboose kicked. Fool quit, you're not gonna do shit. I let her chop my balls off too for I lost to you, Nick. Ooh. I should Bro, saying that your bitch will chop my balls off the same way that she did you before I lose to you. And he said that pussy done got him neutered, like neuter and spay with the wordplay. And then he said that chick's a nut job. Like that's literally what happens when a dog gets neutered. It's a nut job. I let her chop my balls off too before I lost to you, Nick. I should quit watching news clips. Yeah, my balls are too big. I should be talking pool because I got scratched. So my pockets full and I'm taking shots at you. Fuck it. Let me drop the cue stick. I'm over the top like cool whip. And I promise you the day I fall off or lose it. I will stop and cut. Bro, how does he fit so many entendres and meanings and wordplay in such a short amount of time? This is like two and a half, three bars. He's talking about how his balls are so big. And then he just goes off for like four bars. 
about billiards because his balls are as big as billiard balls, as big as pool balls. He said, I should be talking pool because I got scratches in my pocket. Like literally whenever you make the cue ball in a pocket that's called a scratch, let me chalk up the cue stick. I'm over the top like Cool Whip. It says it wrong here in the lyric video. Like you put Cool Whip over the top of dessert. Bro, come on now. Shit. Chalk the cue stick. I'm over the top like Cool Whip. And I promise you the day I fall off or lose it, I will stop and cut off the music. Opportunists want to kill shit every chance that I got to do this. Stack in my... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. My brain stopped listening as it was processing after I heard. I promise you the day that I fall off, I'll cut off and stop the music. That's literally a callback to when the music stops. When he says, if I were to die murdered in cold blood tomorrow, would you feel sorry, show love, or would it matter? Can never be the lead off batter at things, shit for me to feed off. I'm seesaw battling, but there's way too much at stake for me to be fake. There's too much on my plate. I didn't came way too far in this game to turn and walk away and not say what I got to say. Say I ran out of breath, but you get the point. That's definitely a callback to that track though, which is a bomb ass track. He's calling back to a song where he dissed Mariah like 15 years ago, as he's dissing Mariah right now. What the fuck you take me for? A joke you smoke and crack for? I do that, I beg Mariah to take me back. Damn. The day I fall off or lose it, I will stop and cut off the music. Opportunists wanna kill shit every chance that I got to do this. Stacking my guap, savage, I'm not to fool with. Like a handgun, you could say I'm like a gat when it's cock, I keep it a he says, I'm not to fool with like handguns because obviously you need to use handguns with the proper conditions and the proper training. But the bar, he says, you could say I'm like a gat when it's cocked. I keep it a buck, buck. Damn. He just said, I keep it a buck. I keep it a hundred. But at the same time, using the onomatopoeia that people use when they're talking about shooting their guns off. Buck, buck, buck. Bro, that's a bar. And he said he's an opportunist. He'll kill shit every time that he gets to do this. Every time that he gets to make a diss track, he's gonna murder that shit. But also calling himself an opportunist because it's like Nick Cannon is being an opportunist by putting his name in his mouth. Nick Cannon is trying to stay relevant by talking about Eminem, knowing that he's probably gonna get a diss track. And then stacking my guap, Savage, I'm not. Like 21 Savage, he's going off. I didn't expect him not to, but it just it still blows my mind every time. It's like he's writing three verses jammed into one verse. It's crazy. Like a handgun, you could say I'm like a gat when it's cock. I keep it a fuck, fuck. Your ass mm. would get shot. If rap was an actual block, you'd act like you're strapped when you're not. Only cat would you pop is the top on the can of your pop. You the man till I pop your top. You ain't jack in a box. And I ain't talking the hamburger spot. Bro, that whole, that whole bar right there was like bars inside of bars. He said if rap was an actual Glock, you would act like you're strapped when you're not. Like he's saying that Nick Cannon is fake and nothing but all talk. You would say that you're strapped, but you're not. You would say you have talent for this game, but you don't. The only cap that you'd pop is the top of the can of your pop. The wordplay right there. And popping a cap is like literally shooting and popping the top, popping the dome is like literally shooting somebody in the head. But he's saying he's so soft, the only can that he would ever pop is literally a can of soda pop. You're the man to like pop your top and this ain't no jack in the box. Like when you do the jack in the box and the top pops open with the clown coming up, literally calling him a clown at the same time. And he's not talking about the hamburger spot. Bro. And I ain't talking the hamburger spot, cracking with the barrel, arm to the teeth, Anderson Pock. Ah. Rest in peace to a Feeney, Anderson Pock. You sent me that plaque with his rhyme sheet, I haven't forgot. Blow 30 minutes. I can't not stop it. He's saying he's that white boy with a barrel, like Cracker Barrel, since we're on the restaurant theme. And derogatory slang for white person is Cracker. But the best part of the song so far is when he shouts out Tupac's mom. Rest in peace, Tupac's mom, Afini Shakur. I still have the plaque with your son's rhyme sheet. I haven't forgot. Bro, imagine Tupac, one of the greatest rappers of all time, up there on everybody's list. One through five for sure. Imagine being an Eminem hater and saying that the dude is whack when Tupac's mom herself thought that it was fitting to give him, Eminem, Tupac's rhyme book. Like if Tupac's mom recognizes the talent within this boy enough to say, here's the original rhyme sheet of my late passed on greatest rapper alive son. Imagine being a hater on that. I could never. And the connection with arm to the teeth to bring the whole rhyme together, talking about cracker with a barrel, him with a gun, armed to the teeth. People always talk about Anderson Pack's teeth and how he has a nice smile, but he says rest in peace to Afini and her son Pac, but he makes it sound like Anderson Pac. I don't know how people don't see the greatness. You sent me that plaque with his rhyme sheet. I haven't forgot. 
Blow 30 million in a month Call it boosters millions Just hope mm. I don't lose the feeling From soldier to civilian Got everything I need But I don't even see myself in the future chilling Only thing I don't have in the booster ceiling Just call me the ruthless villain ah. They're telling me sky's the limit ah. So I got my head in the clouds Unicorn ah. and human form Saw a gift horse Looked him dead in the mouth And Lord, and Lord good looking Bro, 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 bro. I'm gonna be going hard at this shit till the day that I die. And he said the only thing that I don't got in the booth is a ceiling, cause there's no roof. He's just gonna keep going till the sky runs out. He said, call me the ruthless villain. Like ruthless, cause there's no roof in the booth, but ruthless, like a ruthless villain. And they're telling me the sky's the limit, so I got my head in the clouds. They say I'm a unicorn in human form, like I'm a mythic creature, like I shouldn't exist. Yeah. Unicorn in human form, saw a gift horse, looked him dead in the mouth. And Lord, and Lord good looking now, for sending me Edna and Charles. Whenever mom kicked me out of the house, they were the bomb, then you sent me LL. All the times that I hated myself, since 11 to 12. Only way that I knew how to better myself was when I'm better against by everyone else. So don't hit the head on the nail, you ain't seen God till you're staring down a barrel. I was gun shy, but now like a snail, the slug's coming out of its shell. Mm. <laughs> He said, Fat Joe hit the head of the nail. Like he nailed that shit whenever he said, you only see God when you're staring down a barrel. He said, I was gun shy, but now like a snail, the slug is coming out of its shell. Gun shy, like I didn't want to bring the tools out, but now like a snail, the slug is coming out of its shell. Like a shotgun slug coming out of the shell of the shotgun shell. But also a slug is literally a snail that crawls out of its shell. And he said, you ain't seeing God till you're staring down a barrel because he's the rap God. You're staring down his barrel. And Lord, good looking now for sending me Edna and Charles, the ones that took care of me whenever I was kicked out of my house. And then you sent him LL, LL Cool J, who Eminem has gone on record plenty of times saying that LL Cool J was one of his biggest inspirations in order for him to get in the rap game. So without LL Cool J, we would possibly not have Eminem. And he said all the times I hated myself since 11 or 12, the only time I knew how to better myself was when everyone was betting against me. That was fuel for my fire. Y'all said he trying to drown the shark. Ain't gonna do nothing but piss me off. Lid to the can of whip ass, just twist me off. See me leap out, pull a piece out. Fuck shooting, I'm just trying to knock his teeth out. Fuck with me now, bitch, let's see you freestyle. Talk is cheap. A motherfucker, if you really feeling frog, let's leap. That's the Eminem that we got when people doubted him. It's crazy. Yo. First off, Dre had clearly the worst verse out of the three. Second off, Fat Joe came with shit that I was not expecting him to come with. He came with some fire. I honestly don't ever know what to expect out of Fat Joe, but I was not expecting Rick Ross devil in a new dress Fat Joe to come out. Third off, like Shaq always says, Eminem always goes last for that specific reason right there. He is not a middle of the song type dude because no one's gonna give a shit about the rest of the song after he's done because there's no way you're gonna top that level of writing. But that song was fire. It's going in the phone right now. But anyways, I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown, the commentary, the reaction, all of it. If you like what you saw, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below so that way the algorithm could catch the video, send it out to the masses. If you're new here and you like what you see enough, I implore you to click the subscribe button and become part of the family. This is how we do things around here. If you're not new here and you're still not subscribed, I get it, I promise I get it, because I don't subscribe on the very first video that I see. But if this is not your first video, subscribe. Makes your life easier, makes my life easier, makes the family's life easier as we grow. But like I always say in all of my videos, I appreciate you guys' time for sticking around and watching my videos. I know that you can watch your reactions anywhere across YouTube through it seems like the thousands of reactors, but y'all guys that choose to be here for 12 to 18 minutes on average, I'm well aware that your time is valuable, so I try to make these videos as entertaining as possible. Like I said at the beginning, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at the Third Earnest, just like the channel, no spaces. But like I say at the end of all of my videos, guys, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.